Welcome to Indigo Touch, Kamagoto Gozani Lisedi. Today we are talking about full moon illness, getting sick during full moon. What causes this and what is the solution? And of course, we are talking about this from a spiritual perspective. We are talking about this also from a, a biological perspective, but mostly from a spiritual perspective. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. When we are talking about full moon, on a scientific level, just to summarize everything in short words, uh full moon exerts a very strong gravitational pull on the planet and as a result that results that causes a high tide so if full moon acts as a very strong magnet as umazibuko that pulls things upwards that pulls things towards itself that is why we start seeing a rising of water in the oceans lindosity high tide and if ocean water is affected that way then surely the water in our body the types of water we have flowing in our body are also affected because it is water and since water is a conductor of energy in our bodies, then it means to a certain extent, to a certain level, we are affected by full moon. But how we are affected by full moon differs. Because Abanyabantu will say, Kuba, I feel just fine during full moon. I'm actually very happy during full moon. I'm very relaxed. Abanya will say, Kuba, I get full moon illness, which is our topic for today. And the reason why there are these differences in experience is that full moon, I don't believe Kuba full moon manipulates energy. I believe full moon, Kuba, it amplifies what's already there. It amplifies what is already there. It shines a light. It illuminates the nature of our energy. So Abantu who feel happy, who feel happy and relaxed during full moon, it's simply an amplified state of their natural energy. This person is already happy and relaxed. Some people will say, Kuba, they experience these horrible symptoms. Abanyabantu will get these horrible dreams, uh, these nightmares, these horrible mood swings and stuff like that. If full moon at that time is amplifying the, 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 the misalignments as a coil in the body, in the mind, in the soul. So this means if there is a cleansing, any type of cleansing needed, be it a physical cleanse, physical detox, a mental detox, an emotional detox, a detox of the heart, then this will be amplified during full moon. The full moon will show exactly what, 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 what is happening. And that is exactly what we are talking about today. Ababandu, Jose Kuba, they get sick during full moon. Specifically, I want to talk about parasites. Yes, parasites in, in Cholube. Now, how do parasites come into the equation? How did we get here? There is an issue that we, for some bizarre reason, for some weird reason, we deworm our livestock, we deworm our pets, but we don't deworm ourselves. It's very strange when you think about it because this seems like a flawed lo lo logic. And it makes one think, Okuba, is this logic flawed uh, naturally? Uh, do we see ourselves as above in Dalo? Okanye, is this, uh, do, we ha do we possess this flawed logic because these parasites are affecting our way of thinking? How do parasites come into the equation? Parasites take over they affect our moods they affect our, uh, our our thoughts they affect our emotions they affect our desires this is why some people will say Ukuba, i cleaned out the fridge during full moon i fried everything i ate everything and i finished my food supply within two days because i was constantly craving and craving for junk food some people will say Ukuba, my mood swings were very extreme very violent some people will say Ukuba, they started getting these thoughts they they could feel but these are not my thoughts these are strange thoughts i don't want to have these thoughts which is why full moon we often see this being portrayed as uh, uh people turning into monsters during full moon in uh in in movies so um e -E -E parasites that's what they do they take over and since we don't we, we, we don't deworm we don't take these parasites out of the body. They take over and they show up during full moon because this is when parasites have their highest activity. They are highly active during full moon. Why are they highly active? Because parasites, they work alongside our circadian rhythm, which is our body clock. Meaning, Ukuba, when we are awake, parasites are awake. 
when we are asleep then our immune system is is gathering its defenses and trying to fight as is in those illnesses caused by a parasites but during full moon we don't sleep some people don't sleep much some people don't get a lot of sleep because our circadian rhythm is affected and during full moon in melatonin which is the hormone or the chemical that allows us to relax and sleep is in low supply so when melatonin is in low supply it means well we are not sleeping much and the parasites are highly active because the immune system is not getting time to rest and defend itself against these parasites and also serotonin which is the the, the 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 hormone that makes us happy and active it's highly active at that time it's in large supply it's in larger supply so it means while well, we are awake and while we are awake and active the parasites are awake and active too which is why some people will say kuba i didn't even sleep i was just cleaning out the fridge i was eating everything that is edible i was eating everything i was craving so much and i was crying i was oscillating between crying and laughing and being enraged and you know these weird things that happen during full moon and spiritual parasites are active at this time too because remember everything that exists in the physical also exists in the spiritual in the spiritual if we have e parasites in the stomach physical ones then there are also parasites in the dream world which come as these eating dreams uh, these dreams of something attacking uh, these weird dreams these strange th dreams that uh, some people will say about these experiences get heightened during full moon and they wake up feeling very tired if physical uh parasites are highly active but also the spiritual par parasites are highly active at that time so if we are not giving the body the food it needs so to 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 get the energy to fight off both types of e parasites then it means Kuba, we are weakened because these parasites want us to eat chips and fry everything we were trying we are trying by all means to eat healthily but these parasites are just they, they are just demanding what they want they change our uh, our desires they change our food desires we are trying by all means to maintain a healthy diet a, a healthy lifestyle during uh, if is a full moon um days so that we can get less spiritual attacks but fasting is impossible because there are these highly active parasites that just want something to eat and they want very very specific things because parasites thrive off candida which is a yeast or a fungus which is fed by sugar by processed sugar by processed carbohydrates that we feed to the body which are eat chips and is sweets and all that stuff and also in misalignments in all our fields appear too but then in misalignments in this field are sometimes directly affected by the presence of parasites because uh, the, the 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 stomach is the brain this is our primary brain this is where the spirit resides and if we feed the spirit food that upsets the stomach food that does not nourish the body empty food then we are weakening the spirit because we are not feeding a, 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 a spirit we are not feeding our spirit with good food we are not programming our body in a way that is given natural energy that's going to help the spirit be able to rise up and fight for us when needs be so we become victims to these strange dreams to these nightmares because the spirit is not it, it, it's not powerful enough it's not empowered it feels drained it feels heavy because of the food we are eating so we end up at the end of the day we say ukuba we've been using iswasho we've been using imit nothing is helping but the main problem is in the stomach it's the parasites in the stomach they are the ones causing these desires they are the ones that are altering our way of thinking and to show you how paras how powerful e parasites are there's this example um there, there's this parasite that 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 uh, uses a snail as a host when the parasite enters uh, as a snail it changes the way this snail thinks this snail starts having strange behaviors like exposing itself to predators because the parasite wants this snail to be eaten so that the parasite itself can complete its life cycle through the bed or in the bed i'm not sure about which one is which so we first cleanse the stomach and then all our fields will naturally be cleansed too and we will see okuba what other field needs further and special attention
if umdu needs to go a manzini they will see after they've removed the worms in the stomach because everything now there's clarity our primary brain the spirit is now fully functioning please go online please do some research about vermicides there are abantu will say go but they will go to a pharmacy to get is nozobulalinjolobe there are natural alternatives there is papaya seeds there are pumpkin seeds i find this very 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 effective there are also cloves there is use of a coconut uh, it's mixed with uh, pumpkin seeds and cloves uh, and then it's the shredded coconut and then it's honey this is eaten on an empty stomach um there's use of papaya seeds please go online to look at measurements and stuff like that if you are interested in going the natural route but the first step to all this is to take back our bodies to have full control of our bodies again take back bod the, the, the body from these invaders which are parasites so this is all i have to say for today it starts in the stomach i'm not going to talk about doing water cleansing uh, i'm not going to talk about doing this and that and that i'm not going to talk about anything beyond this let's work on the stomach first let's feed our stomach food that actually programs it uh, in in a way that's beneficial to us let's feed ourselves